हे गाइस दिस इज सैकत वेलकम टू माय चैनल सैकत ट्यूटोरियल ए हैंडी फीचर यूज्ड विद एंगुलर इज द ऑब्जर्वेबल दिस इज नॉट एन एंगुलर स्पेसिफिक फीचर बट रेदर ए प्रोपोज्ड स्टैंडर्ड फॉर मैनेजिंग एसिंक्रोनस डेटा दैट विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन द रिलीज ऑफ ई एस सेवन एंगुलर फ्रेमवर्क लिवर्ज रिएक्टिव एक्सटेंशंस और आर एक्स जेस टू यूज द फुल पावर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेबल्स ऑब्जर्वेबल्स ओपन अप ए कंटिन्यूस चैनल ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इन विच मल्टीपल वैल्यूज ऑफ डेटा कैन बी एमिटेड ओवर टाइम एंगुलर यूजेस ऑब्जर्वेबल्स एक्सटेंशिवली यू विल सी देम इन एच टी टी पी सर्विसेस और राउटिंग इवेंट्स एट्सेट्रा यू कूड थिंक ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेबल्स एज न्यूज पेपर फॉर ईच सब्सक्राइबर ए न्यूज पेपर इज पब्लिश्ड दे आर देन ऑनली सेंड टू दोज पीपल हु हैज सब्सक्राइब्ड now if you keep that subscription to the newspaper you will get a new one every time when the newspaper is created the sender decides when you get the newspaper but all you have to do is just to wait until they publish the newspaper and comes to you now let me create an example for you in news component i am going to create a new observable for that you need to import observable from rxjs import now within ng on in it let me create a new one new observable which will take a function as parameter now let me create an arrow function for this okay now within this observable we want to send some data in some interval so for that we can use set timeout function which will send the data using next function say for example after 1 second then the same thing i'll use to send the next data for example 2 after 2 seconds okay and uh, finally we need to complete the subscription there we need to call complete function which does not send any data at all okay so we have created it observable now that observable we can subscribe to that so now you can write dot subscribe okay and within subscribe function we can have the result and 
and uh, in second parameter we can pass a function to handle the error all right now let's just uh, console log this one where in value we'll get the data which has been sent from this next function now you also want to put a console log to see the error if there is any right so i have saved it now if i see the console okay let me let me refresh the page again okay page is loaded so first you saw one then after one second you saw two let me change the timing so that first data is sent after one second and second data is sent after five seconds and it will complete after six seconds now let the page get refreshed so on one second you are seeing the value one after five seconds you are seeing two and then after six seconds the subscription is over by calling the complete function observables are lazy if you don't subscribe nothing is going to happen it is good to know that when you subscribe to an observer each call of subscribe will trigger its own independent setup for that given observable subscribe calls are not shared among multiple subscribers to the same observable here in the observer object we can have several functions like next that we have used next function sends any value such as numbers arrays or objects to its subscriber we also can have error function which will send a javascript error or exception and we can have complete function which we also have used which does not send any value but it remarks that the subscription is over during observable execution there can be an infinite call when observer.error or observer.complete is called the execution stops and no more data will be delivered to the subscribers because observable execution can run for an infinite amount of time we need a way to stop it from executing since each execution is run for every subscriber it is important to not keep subscriptions open for subscribers that don't need data anymore as that would mean a waste of memory and computing power now let me create two subscribers for one observable okay so here we have one subscriber and if I copy paste that guy we'll have another one so we can name it as subscriber one and this one subscriber 2 okay so now we have two subscribers let me put a message that which one is what
sub 2 let me save it and see in the console okay so subscriber 1 1 subscriber 2 1 and after 5 seconds subscriber 1 2 subscriber 2 2 so subscription is working very fine what I want to achieve is I want to unsubscribe from subscriber 1 after getting the first message so for that we can unsubscribe from the subscriber 1 after getting the first message so let me do that subscriber 1 dot unsubscribe so it will ensure that we got the first message within this subscribe function and then we are unsubscribing for the subscriber 1 now let me save it so here we can see sub 1 1 sub 2 1 but after 5 seconds we are seeing sub 2 2 but there is no sub 1 2 that is because sub 1 already has unsubscribed after getting the first message right so that is how we can unsubscribe from any subscription now let me show you how we can handle errors in observable if we get any error after one second in this example then we can throw the error this way observer dot error and here we can write a new error which will show subscription expired or some error okay so that error will be thrown after three seconds and that error will be caught within this error function now if I see that in the browser sub 1 2 1 okay then the error is thrown subscription expired or some error after that we are not seeing any further message because once the error is thrown that will unsubscribe from the subscription and it will not send any message anymore we can create observables from callbacks promises events in angular for example observables are used in http client where we do http dot get dot subscribe or even we have used observables in form events like some field name dot value changes dot subscribe so these are some examples where angular has extensively used observables in our future sessions we will see how to uh, use those observables and how to subscribe so now uh, we are at the end of this session if you like the video then please don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, who has not subscribed yet please do subscribe to my channel thank you guys thanks for watching video